Hello, this is Pat Walker at MissionWinners.com. Doing a training coaching video for everybody. We all know this stock right here, Beyond Meat. It's been a real go-to stock for a lot of people, trading and everything else like this. But we don't, we're not traders. We're not trading things, okay? We try to let it work for as long as possible. Right here, this is the chart. You see these two buy points? I'm going to pull this up. This is from the trading platform. That's our actual average cost on Beyond Meat. Right there. $76.59 a share. I'll slide this out. You can see if you take these two prices in here, that's where we were buying. Average cost, $76.59. And the stock made a nice move. As it was moving up, we sold some into strength. Especially when it starts getting like this, a bit parabolic. And then it dropped down and it meandered. On this gap up bar, it ran up and started to fade on heavy volume. We sold more. We sold more shares. It went sideways. It started to pick up. And we sold more into strength. All the way up. And then you have this today. And it started to drop today. And I told the VIPs, and this is what I did too, I took it down to a 5% position. We managed it. We don't let the stock manage us. We manage the stock. We have rules to get in and rules to get out. Now, some people could say, yeah, but man, just think if you held it all and it gapped up, it would be huge. It's made a huge move. We have a triple on it. So what do we do? We sell some into strength at various spots. For two reasons. A, it's a good gain. Well, actually, three reasons. A, it's a good gain. B, it's starting to get a little loose. And C, earnings are coming. You've got to have, we must have rules to get in, rules to ride trends, rules to sell some into strength, rules to manage risk. And that's what we did. So what do we have left? We've got 5% left. The stock is gapping down a little bit on these last years. We're still up. Now, where's it going to open tomorrow? I don't know. I don't know the future. But all I know is we've locked in great gains and we've got a small amount left. We'll manage it and we'll see what happens. But we were selling some of it, as I said, for close to a triple. And that's real good. Even now, it's still a great gain. If all the gains were this bad at 100 and 20 point profit. That's not too bad on a $76 investment. So I wanted to show this to you. My point is this, this isn't a brag fest. That's nonsense. It's the foundations. Please folks have rules to buy, have rules to manage your investments. It's so important. Rules to buy, rules to sell into strength, rules to sell when it starts to get a little bit loose, Rules to get lighter when the stock is reporting earnings. And I will share this last thing with you, team. Please never take a full position into an earnings report. It, you can be a hero and you can be financially and emotionally devastated. And I will share this with you, folks. One of my degrees is in psychology. You got to protect your money and you got to protect your psyche because it'll cause the freeze and you don't want the freeze. I just wanted to share that with you. Where we got in, how we managed it, how we have very little left, and we'll manage that. And we're still in the game if it had gapped up, but we had taken most of it for very good gains. Rules, rule-based investing, I encourage you. That's what we do. We're having a webinar on things like this. We're gonna have a webinar on how we found this dang stock. We'll have a webinar on a Wednesday. The point is this. It's not just about giving ideas. It's about explaining the tactics on finding stocks like this. The tactics and the methods so that you have the power and you can find them too. And then we teach how to manage it. How to manage it. Anyway, I wanted to share that with you. Thank you very much. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Each day is just one day in the many to come. Thank you.